So let's talk about motor mounts for a minute. You know, I've got a quite a collection here, uh, a couple of new mounts and a whole bunch of used stuff. So we're just going to have a look at some of the ways that these mounts fail. Now, if you haven't had a look under your car uh, at the mounts recently, it might be a good idea to do so. Uh, if you have a B6, I mean, those things are pushing 15 years old now. So it's a good idea to have a look and see if you've had one of those fail and replace it if that's the case. So one thing we're going to see uh, spot on this mount in particular is you see this discoloration, this red sort of stain on the bottom of the mount. Now what that's telling us is that the bladder that holds the, the liquid inside this mount has burst and that fluid's leaked out on the outside of the mount. So if you have a peek on under your car, this is super easy to see. You know, you get under the car, you have a look, you see that little stain on the, on the motor mount. That's a good indication that that motor mount's no good anymore and not doing its job. So this one's good to throw out. That one's a junker. Um, now looking at the V6 mounts, uh, compared to the 1.8T, a lot of these here are from 1.8 turbo uh, motors. You can see that the V6 mount has a little bit higher collar on it. Um, the distances from the base to the top where they mount is the same on both, but this little bit higher collar just allows this mount to be a little bit stiffer. It's still a liquid fill filled mount, but it's a little bit stiffer and uh, it'll hold the motor in place a little bit better because the V6 being a bit heavier, having a bit more power from the factory than the 1.8T, um, needs that little bit stiffer mount. Now, these mounts, which I took out of the car, you know, the car was a rebuilt title. It had been hit in the front, and I think uh, it's a pretty good bet that the motor took a hit because what we I saw when I took these out was that they're not actually round anymore. They've kind of gone oval a little bit, and... The bottoms of them aren't flat anymore. They've actually been twisted. So both of these are going to be junk. You can see this one in particular, it's even cracked hit along here at the bottom. Um, so these ones are going to go in the garbage as well. But something else to look for if you've got a car that uh, that you've purchased that you don't know all the history on it, you know, have a look underneath. Look, uh, you, This is something you have to take the mount out of the car to figure out, but you'll be able to see if that base of the mount's twisted or you know, even from abuse, if the guy's launching the car all the time and if the mount's lost its oil, there's a good chance that motor's moving around a lot, could bend it. So have a look for that. Another thing to look for is just from age, what'll happen is this rubber will get hard and it'll start to crack. So here's a good example up here. You can see where that rubber started to crack. Um, so this one is going to be junk as well. I would, you know, hang on to this one if I had a car that I needed to just slam some motor mounts in to move it in the yard or something like that. Um, if I was parting something out and wanted to pull the mounts off of some good mounts off a car and just replace them. But this will never go on a car that I'll drive because it won't take long when that starts to happen. You know, especially if you're driving the car kind of hard, as soon as you launch that car or uh, do some real hard on off throttle transitions, it puts a lot of stress on that mount. It's just going to continue to rip until it loses all its fluid. And then you know, worst case, this whole top can rip off and your mount comes apart and nobody wants that. So this one's no good. Uh, this one you can see, you know, a little bit of crack on the top as well there too. So those ones, will, I'll probably hang on to those just as, you know, like I say, to roll a car around or something. But um, I've got a couple more mounts here that I've picked up from uh, somewhere else. And... Having a look at these, you know, all the rubber on the top still in decent shape. The motor, the mount's not too bad. I don't see any signs of oil leaking out of it. So I've got a couple of these. Now these are for a 1.8 turbo. Um, so they might not last as long when I put them in uh, with the V6. But I might throw those in. Or, you know, I'm going to have a look online and see if I can get another set of mounts for not too much money. Another set of the V6 mounts, that is. Because... It's always nice to have new mounts, but at the same time, I don't like to waste good parts, so I might throw these in. But uh, yeah, on the other end of the spectrum, you know, we've got brand new mounts out of a, these are for a B5A4 1.8 turbo. Now, same thing again, where the mounting heights are identical. So what a lot of guys do now, it's not, wouldn't be these mounts in particular, but what a lot of guys do is order the B5 RS4 mounts, because those are actually not liquid filled they're uh, solid rubber so they're quite a bit stiffer and give you a, a lot more support on your motor so if you're making you know big power 
or uh, doing anything on the track, you probably will want those RS4 mounts that are that are solid rubber um, because they'll just keep your motor planted a lot better than these liquid filled mounts will. Now, one thing you do give up a little bit is comfort, especially with the four cylinders. Um, if you're running, like a lot of guys, I see running uh, billet mounts and just solid mounting their motors when they're just driving on the street, not racing, not making big power. And I don't really get that because you give up so much comfort. You get so much vibration in the car when you do that. And uh, to me, it's kind of a waste of money um, when a replacement stock mount is way less expensive than those billet mounts and gives you so much more comfort. I don't know why people don't go with that, but you know how people are. They love to make their cars extra racy for no reason. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up.